What's up, Nick fans? All right. I am Victor Hatchba from Nick Fans Brazil channel. Today, again, again, and again, <laughs> this channel uh, brings uh, my friend, my friend Eru from Die Hard Nicks podcast. Welcome, welcome again in this channel, my bro. Yeah, well, I'm I'm happy to be here, man. I'm happy to I'm happy to talk to you offline, man. I'm happy to just be happy to be a part of this culture with you, man. It's a it's a beautiful thing, man. Good to, good to see you. Hi, bro. You you know <laughs> you know I like you so much, bro. Ah, yeah, you I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> but but I invite you because I won't talk with you about the New York Knicks uh, next season, okay? First of all, Eru, first of all, I want your opinion uh, about these two, two new players in New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson and Isaiah Hartenstein. Uh, what do you think about this guy, these guys? Uh, what's your expectations? Talk with me about this. Well, number one, Jalen Brunson, I think just right away, uh, professionalism, you know, uh, just being, you know, just being ready. The Knicks haven't had a point guard in years. I, you know, people say that all the time, but you know, I, I just think there's, there's the simple fact that, that he, he just, um, he's just always in control. You know, if, if he come, if he comes out there, just, just him being there makes everyone else uh, calm down. It makes everyone else more confident because they know when he has the ball, great things are going to happen. So I, I think, I think that's, that's, that's the number one thing, uh, leadership wise, just the leadership by example, and like I said, just the poise from from him, um, just being out there, him always knowing what to do, uh, able to finish uh, you know, against taller players and that type of thing. So just visually seeing that, that you know, I know for me playing basketball, you know, playing with people like that, that makes you feel like you can do it too, you know. So I think that, I think that's something that people don't really talk about. You know, his his play is good, but I think the inspiration that he brings, I think that's really going to take the Knicks to to the next level. And Isaiah Hartenstein, what do you think about the center? Uh, same thing for him too, but um, in the last game, I know we lost the last game in, against the Indiana Pacers, but there was a segment of the game. It was in the second half where where Tom Thibodeau was running an offense where um, Hardenstein was basically at the top of the key, top of the um, you know by the by the three point line in the corner or the opposite corner, and um, they were running offense. You know, a lot of guys were cutting to the basket, running around, and he was finding guys. He found Obi Toppin. He found quickly. He found quite a few people. Um, especially off of rebounds, he's able to throw outlet passes like like a like foot like American football, you know, touchdown yes. for Obi Toppin and yeah. dunks and stuff like that. So, you know, I think that he's gonna like once everything starts going and, and the Knicks really start getting getting their rotation together, when he comes in there, that offense that he runs, I think that's gonna be a big thing, big um, a big addition to what the Knicks are doing. Because it's something that we haven't done, you know, in years. We haven't had that in a long time. So I think he's gonna bring another level, another layer, you know, like another yes. layer to to the game, I think. Yes, I I talk so much with people about Azaya. In begin, I don't like it because uh, I know nothing about this guy. So right. uh, so many people talking good things. Uh, now I like it. Nah? I I I change my opinion about right. this guy because uh, I I believe it's a, a great thing uh, for the Knicks. Because this center uh, can can be open the floor, uh, yes. different skills compared with Mitchell Robinson, Jericho Sings. Uh, these these skills, uh, I, I think it's it's great uh, from this team. It's a good passer, can shoot. <laughs> Mitchell Robinson, it's more dunks, right? Uh, and uh, uh, Isaiah Hartenstein can can shoot. Uh, two points, three points, not a a, a great, a great in, a, uh, in the in the these skills, but uh, it's a shoot, a great, a good shooter uh, yeah. from uh, a center. Uh, Knicks don't have a, a center with these skills or uh, I, I a long yeah. time, long time, yeah. and he uh, keeps, keeps the, the the defense honest. Right. Yes. You agree with that? He keeps yes. everybody honest on defense. 
Yes, yeah. uh, I, I, I believe uh, Jalen Brunson, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle like so much uh, making drives, né? drives in, in your games, open the floor, these guys uh, uh, has a chance, né? making so much more drives in your games. I, I think he, I think he great uh, from this team. Uh, I have a question for you. Um, with Jalen Brunson, uh, you know, I am disappointed, really disappointed with Julius Randle in the last yes. season. Yes, uh, but I want Julius Randle play better because uh, Knicks will play better, and I love New York Knicks. Okay, uh, in your opinion, Jalen Brunson, uh, can, can, can help Julius Randle. Uh, play better uh, in the next season or not? In your in your opinion? Well, um, the, the last game also, we, like I said, we lost the last game, but I did see that too. Uh, the, the Knicks ran a lot of offense where Julius Randle was taking a lot of breaks. You know, not not mm -hmm. a lot of dribbling. You know, and then when Julius Randle did get the ball, um, he might have took one, two, three dribbles. That's it. And he either mm -hmm. passed the ball or he or he took the shot. You know, so I think I think the first two games he had a problem with trying to figure that out. But I think the third game, he showed that he's able to play off the ball a lot more. So I think um, Jalen Brunson being busy, you know, he's doing a lot of dribbling, you know, like that. He's busy. So, and also RJ Barrett too, he's um, active in, in his dribbling too. But um, in, in, uh, while they're doing that, uh, Julius Randle needs to be able to um, um, get easy buckets, go into the basket, you know, off a pass, not off of him dribbling. Somebody pass him the ball and he just lays and gets a layup. You know, somebody, somebody does a dribble and then passes it to him, and then he just shoots it. That's it. You know, so yes. I think I think that's going to make him make him so valuable next year. But but he well when the pressure gets tight, you know, I, I'm hoping that that he can stay like that. You know, and don't don't you know cry, give me the ball like that. You know, just let the offense, let guys do what they do. When the ball comes to him, he won't have the pressure. He could just you know, nice and easy, just hit mm -hmm. the just do what, he, do what he does best. So I I, I yes. believe in him. I believe in him. You know, he, he, you know, he's crazy. He's cuckoo. <laughs> Julius Randle's <laughs> cuckoo, right? You agree. Everybody agrees, you know. But, cuckoo. I love yeah, this, this cuckoo, you know? but, uh, <laughs> but we can't disrespect him. You know, people disrespect him too much. You know, so but he's cuckoo, though. Definitely. But um, but we, we can, if he can calm down and just let other guys do, do this stuff and then let him give him, it'll give him the opportunity to, to do what he does best. You know, so I, th I think he, I think he'll be great, you know, this, this season. Uh, and RJ Barrett, Chiru. Uh, what do you think about the RJ Barrett extension? Of oh, him getting the money, um, you know, it's it, it's a it's a competitive contract. You know, that's that's really it. So I mean, he deserves to get that because it's competitive with his peers. You know, so it's not too much. He's just, he's not making 30, 40 million. He's making 25, 20, close to thirty. You know, he's he's like borderline. So that's competitive. It's fair. You know, so. Um, it's good to do that because it just it just allows him it it just gives him confidence. He knows that the team believes in him, you know. And then now that it's over, you know, you don't talk about it. Now you can yes. go back and play basketball, you know. So I think that he devoted his time the summertime uh, training, learning to finish on the layups, learning um, dribble, little dribble moves, how to get open, you know. So he he's able to focus on that. So the money's taken care of. Now you can focus on the basketball. So that's. That's important too. I think he's going to have a big year too. Julius, him, and, and Brunson, all big years, I think. Uh, Barrett, you know, everybody knows. <laughs> everybody knows. I super believe in this guy, and I hope na, uh, RJ Barrett he play better in next this season, and next this season, and next this yeah. season, and uh, will be all star. I believe in this guy in the future. In future, one, two years, I believe this guy. Uh, we'll be all-star, bro. I really yeah. believe. If the Knicks I win, really he, might get, he might be an all-star this year. If the Knicks win. Yes. You never know. <laughs> right? I miss I miss so much great teams, bro. I miss so yeah. much. But, uh, hi, bro. Hi, bro. Yeah, I, 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 will, I will talk about expectations later in this interview. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I want to talk with you, for example. Uh, you know, in Knicks fan base in this off season uh we talking so much about starters right for example 
now uh, people uh, talk so much about uh, Quentin Grimes versus Evan Fournier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 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 what's your opinion about the subject? Well, you know, it's it's a generational thing. You know, I think it's generational. Yes. I'm I'm older. And then the young people are different. You know, the young people say, oh, give him the ball. Give him a chance. Make him the starter. Fournier, you suck. You bad, Fournier. <laughs> you know, it's generational. So me as an older person, like, I remember John Starks. I remember Gerald Wilkins. You know, I remember Hubert Davis, you know, Greg Anthony. So I remember that. So when I was when I was younger, I used to be like, oh, give Greg Anthony the ball, you know, back then. So I learned. You know, I learned through experience. So now in 2022, when I see Quentin Grimes at Fournier, I'm looking at a guy, Fournier, at the, in Orlando. He averaged 17 points, three rebounds, three assists. He did that for five straight years. You know, he played in Europe. He is a good basketball player. You cannot have a kid that averaged six points, you know, hardly mm -hmm. could play, you know, only shoot three-pointers in the NBA so far. Um, he's always hurt. Right now, he, right now, Quentin Grimes is hurt. You know, so, you know, First, he has to show that he could be healthy. Once Quentin Grimes could show he could be healthy, then, you know, and these guys start getting minutes and stuff, then you could talk about it. But you have to look. The guys have to – they have to go from here, and they have to build up. Yes. You know, so Quentin Grimes is down here, <laughs> you know. Everybody that's, that's talking so much about him are trying to drag him from the ground. You know, Quentin Grimes <laughs> is down there, you know. But, you know, listen, I believe in Quentin Grimes. I believe in him. You know, I think he's going to be very good. But you know we have to give him a we have to wait we have to give him a give him a, a chance to to get there we can't put him there if he's not ready yet you know so that that's my opinion with that I think I think um in time time it will show but I think um you know uh, I think Fournier deserves to be the starter at the at the moment I think I frozen now I talk with you about my PC my notebook yeah, yeah. I frozen. Uh, when I talk with you about it, Fournier, but uh, well, I understand your picture. point. That's a big, beautiful <laughs> picture. Look at that. <laughs> I wish when I freeze, when I freeze, I'm like this, like that. But when you freeze, you're like. <laughs> but it's lives. That's lives. You know, lives is is uh, adventure. Yes, uh, yeah. I joke with you because. Uh, I, I remember now, Eru, I made it, uh, an interview uh, uh, last month with Mark Berman. Mark Berman uh, yeah. comment with me, for example, uh, Evan Fournier, it's better in, in first unit comparative to the second, because in second unit, uh he talked with me uh the second unity some uh, player more fast players mm -hmm. uh and uh evan fournier is more slow compared with these guys and kenton grimes uh it's better playing with the um obi Taupin, uh emmanuel kickley than in first in first unit yes uh, i prefer Quentin Grimes in first unit, okay? Okay. But Mark Berman and you, oh, I froze in now, too. Ah, my God. I, I will go. make a video from <laughs> 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 this guy, Grimes and Fournier, in, in our interview. Right. Well, it's complicated. But uh, I, I forgot uh, what, what I say now because, because my... PC. Oh, my not. What, you were talking about Quentin Grimes. Quentin Grimes um, being a starter. Yes, I prefer I prefer Quentin Grimes, but uh, this point uh, said uh, from Mark Berman. I I, I thinking later. <laughs> uh, I I, th I think he interesting because uh, Quentin Grimes is more faster and uh, Evan Fournier more slow. Nah. Uh, yeah. I, I understand this uh, this point, nah? but uh, yet I prefer because I like so much um, Grimes in our defense. It's a, a good shooter, nah? and uh, I I imagine uh, Evan. I, I think he, uh, Evan Fournier. It's a good player, okay. I, I think yeah. really, uh, but uh, I, I I imagine uh, Evan Fournier from the bench. Uh, making three points, uh, 
open fire, né? fire in these games, I believe it's more, more great compared uh, this guy begin starter, okay? But mm -hmm. it's my opinion. Uh, I make a joke with uh, Ron uh, <laughs> in Steel Nick Fans Channel. Right. Ron, we, uh, we buy a glass from Fournier. Fournier just see Boston Celtics in, in your games. <laughs> Bro, yeah. Evan Fournier, MVP. MVP yeah. from <laughs> NBA, bro. Yeah. Oh, but I really, really, I, I think uh, Evan Fournier is a good player. But uh, in, in, my, né, in my mind, I prefer, I prefer Quentin Grimes. Uh, I talked with you about Quentin Grimes and I won't talk with you about uh, these younger players uh, from the Knicks. Mm -hmm. uh, Quentin Grimes, we talked now, but I won't talk with you about what you, what your what your expectations about these younger players. Do you believe uh, in more minutes in the next season uh, for Obi Toppin, for uh, Emmanuel Kikley, Deuce McBride? I am worried worry about Ken Reg, for example, because I, I, I can't believe in this guy, uh, right. in this team. I don't believe. Okay. Uh, and I like, okay, Ken Reg, but I don't believe. Uh, so I want your opinion about these guys, uh, these younger players uh, from the Knicks. Well, I look at I look at them all very similar. Uh, you know, Quentin Grimes, you know, I think is is a, a notch better than them. I think because he, he's more poised. So I agree with you, Quentin Grimes. He could be a starter, but he got to get healthy first. You know, but I think mm -hmm. once he gets healthy, I think I think maybe by Christmas he might become a starter. You know, that's that's yes. how good good he is. You know, and also you mentioned Cam Reddish. You worried about Cam Reddish? Me too. The the last uh, this whole preseason, um, he, I think in his heart, Cam Reddish he believes that he's very good. You know, mm -hmm. every, everybody can see that he can do a lot of good things with the basketball, but um, but he's more looking ahead. You know, he's thinking about he's looking in the stars. You know, I think he he needs to look at the ground because because he got to figure out how good is he going to stay. You know, because like, let's let's say if Quentin Grimes comes back and Quentin Grimes plays well, Quentin Grimes is the starter now. Okay, so mm -hmm. guess who's the small forward? Fournier, because you got Derrick Rose and you got Quickly. So where's yes. Cam Reddish? Because you got Obi Toppin and you got I Heart, I Hardenstein, right? So you got Obi, yes. Obi Fournier, um, I Heart, Quickly, and Rose. Where's Cam Reddish? He's not there. So he has yes. to focus. He has to focus on the ground and figure out how he can how he can stay because he's going to be looking. Uh, he's going to be standing, sitting with me, sitting with me in the in the in the locker room, you know, or or in the in the in the bleachers. He's gonna be sitting like the fans, you know, ordering hot dogs <laughs> and getting beer. But, you know? <laughs> You got to figure that out. The know? new Tel Pinson. Yeah, <laughs> remember, but yeah. but Tel Pinson, I joke so much. It's an uh, our team leader, team yeah. leader from from the Knicks. Oh, I miss this guy, bro. Yeah, me so too. so funny, so funny in the bench with. Yeah. Uh... But oh, Cam Reddish is not so funny. funny. Cam Reddish no, is not so funny. You know, no. <laughs> That's why Theo, no. Theo Pinson doesn't play, but he always gets another team because everybody knows he has a great personality. But you know, Cam Reddish got to figure that out. He has to figure all of that out. Where, where, realistically, you know, how can you contribute to the NBA? You know, yes, not, you know, because you're not playing in the park; you're playing professional. How can I contribute? Yes. Gotta figure that out. Emmanuel Kikley, do you believe uh, more chance in the next season? Be uh, because Emmanuel Kikley. Uh, I, I I imagine uh, this guy a uh, sixty man six men from right. this team, okay. But uh, I want your opinion. What do you think about Emmanuel Quickly? Oh, man, Emmanuel Quickly, he's just gonna he's gonna always frustrate us. I think I think he's always gonna <laughs> frustrate. Us. You know, he's never gonna be consistent. You know, he's gonna. Uh, be, I know, I know. You know, he's gonna be like a firecracker, like uh, in the, in the United States, the Fourth of July, where you got the firecrackers. Uh -huh. you know, in the pack, you light it and you throw it, and it goes. <laughs> that's a man, you, it, you know. So, in, in the last game, last game he didn't really play well, but because like he'll make a move, and then 
he'll get to the basket and he's looking to get the foul rather than score. You know, a lot of times he keeps doing the, the floater. It's too much. Mm-hmm. He has to figure something else out. You know, and then I, I believe in the first two preseason games, quickly he was trying to slow down, but slow down too much. So he slowed down to the point where he can't tell what to do now. You know, mm-hmm. so quickly he has to figure it out. You know, but I think I think you know as the season goes on, he's just gonna be uh, like they like they say in the in the in the United States a microwave. You know, mm-hmm. he's gonna be a microwave off the bench. You know, that's that's it. You know, whatever he can give, if he can't give it, then you take him out and you put somebody else in, like Rose, Derrick Rose, and that type of thing. Obi Toppin uh, has more minutes in next season uh, versus Julius Randle. Mm. Or, or in your your opinion, next season is the same. Is the same the last season and another last season. Do you believe in more chance from Obi Toppin? Because I hear so much, Eru, uh, in, in uh, so many channels, uh, comments about uh, Tom Timbaldon don't like so much about uh, defense. Mm. Defense from Obi Toppin. Okay? But uh, I want your opinion. What do you think about Obi Toppin? Well, this year, I think you know, Obi Toppin does something very unique. You know, he, like he's able to uh, sneak and get like those uh, sneaky baskets, you know, fast break. You know, he's yes. he, if he gets one little opening, he's gone and he's going to score. So I think that's a weapon. The Knicks have a weapon with that. So, yes. um, you know, also, too, he's very quick and stuff. But but um, one thing that, that people keep uh, a lot of people keep saying that he's Amari Stoudemire. I don't think he's Amari Stoudemire. You know, I think he's Sean Marion. Mm-hmm. You know? So now if you yes. think. Right. If you think of Sean Marion, now you're thinking small forward, power forward. So, so, so my opinion, when um Obi Toppin comes in, he can come in to take over for Julius. Um, you know, RJ stays out there, and then when you take RJ out, keep Obi in and push Julius there, and now you have Julius and Obi together, possibly ju- as Obi as a small forward, not as a power forward. You know. But do you believe in small ball? Small ball. Uh, in this team, Julius Randall and the Obi Toppin. Yeah, I think we could do that, you know, because there's going to be, you know, like you have to like the season so long, 82 games, you know, so mm-hmm. many different teams, so many different styles like the Detroit. Yes. We played Detroit in the game the one preseason. Very different. They play uh, three point style basketball. You know, Indiana, they play a lot of going around the picks and driving to the basket and then kick out for threes. Two different styles, you know, so every, every time we play another team, there's going to be a different style. So as a yes. coach, as a coach, when you prepare. When you prepare for the game, you have to figure out, okay, listen, this this team does this, so then we, this is how we're going to counteract it, you know, or this team um, plays a certain way, so we're going to use this strategy, you know, there. Yeah. So so before the game, I think that it's very important for the coaching staff for the Knicks, um, you know, Tom Thibodeau and and Johnny Bryan, everybody, they have to get a plan, you know, before the game to so they know how they can utilize Obi Toppin better. You know, so so I, I'm okay. Julius Randle at, at center with Obi Toppin power forward. I'm okay with that. You know, we can. I think the Knicks will be fine with that. You know, but we just have to be very smart with it. You know, because we have so many different players that can do stuff. You know, ah, just minutes, né? So 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 just minutes. I I, I won't see this. Uh, a little minutes. I, I I stay happy because I I imagine uh, interesting interesting the this guy playing together but my opinion small yeah. ball no all the game okay but so so moments uh, uh just moments uh this guy playing together i i yeah i i may i think he is interesting uh this guy playing together but nah, we'll see uh, i want to uh, uh another player uh i want your opinion okay uh Derek Rose, do you have uh expectations yet né, yet with this guy? Or uh do you believe Derek Rose uh more like a mentor with these these younger players, help development, né, uh these younger guys? Uh what do you think about Derek Rose? 
Well, I, you know, I think Derrick Rose is probably like our most important player. I think because I, because like I said, quickly he's like a firecracker. You know? <laughs> but when Derrick yeah. Rose is there, you know, Derrick Rose is somebody somebody for him to learn. So even when they're on the court together, quickly relies on Rose so much. You know, for pace, you know, the game pace and and just uh, momentum, just being in the huddle, talking to each other on the court and stuff. So it helps quickly out a lot. So um, what what I would like this year. Um, for for roles to play as enough as much as he can, but but um, you know Tom Thibodeau also with the coaches staff, they got to figure out okay, well Derrick Rose roles will play here here here. Okay, with Derrick Rose day off, you know, mm-hmm. you know Derrick Rose play here here. Okay, Derrick Rose day off like that because we have Deuce McBride. You know, yes. I think I think certain games we can get away with um, benching. You know, uh, you know giving Derrick Rose a break. You know, a, a rest day and then let mm-hmm. Deuce McBride get a little bit more minutes for that game. I think we can get away with that because Deuce McBride, you know, we play so much defense and he could hit the jump shot. So we, we can take advantage of that sometimes. I think we, I think we, I think that's what we're going to have to do all year to make sure Derrick Rose uh, can stay healthy. What do you think Jalen Brunson and Derrick Rose cl- closing games? Oh, you know, um... two, two smart guys. In... Because it, do you remember in the last season, Alec Burke, I like Alec Burks, not PG, okay, not PG, yeah. but I like Alec Burks. Do you yeah. remember, bro, uh, our games? Oh, yeah. bro, <laughs> my eyes, my eyes, blood, <laughs> blood. <laughs> ah! yeah. Yeah. It's complicated because uh, Knicks don't. Uh, don't know uh close games in the last season right uh do you remember you remember uh yeah. with brooklyn nets 28 points 28 points we lost yeah, yeah. uh i remember with the okc four minutes zero points yep. and over time lost this game so i i, I imagine it bro uh two smart guys uh like uh Derek Rose and Jalen Brunson it's great uh yeah. close close games um I, I am curious I am curious because uh Knicks do you you know had, had so many problems uh close games in the yeah. in the last season you remember yeah, definitely. I think last season, if we if Derrick Rose is healthy, if he played those some of those games, we might have won, you know. And then now we're talking about from being out of the, in the lottery to being yes. a playing in the playing for the for the playoffs. Mm-hmm. You know? So, you know, Derrick Rose. So I yeah, I agree with that. I think you know the same way like when I was saying about Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin, we can use him to be a center, a power. You know, like the, you play small ball. So many different um options that for the coaching staff. So you know, if the game is going a certain way. If it makes sense for Derrick Rose to be in there, then keep him there. You know, keep him there at the end. And if Jalen Brunson has it going, you put Jalen in there, and then you just let it go. You know, there's going to be so many different options that we that we can run there. So, it, I mean, you know, I think Derrick Rose is probably like, if he's not, you know, is he's underrated. You know, so I want to say that he's going to be one of the most important players of, of this year. If if we want to get to the playoffs, he's going to be very important. Bro, I love Derrick Rose, but I know your age, your health, yeah. etc. I know, I know, but I won't see a little Derrick Rose closing games, help you so much. Uh, Juice McBride, Emmanuel Kikley, uh, help <laughs> Julius Randle. You, yeah. you saw uh, Derrick Rose yeah. <laughs> interview. <laughs> Julius Randle, uh, now when uh, Derrick Rose talk about the problems in the last two season. Yeah. Yeah. Ay, yeah. Bro. yeah, Julius Randle, came, he came by, hey, 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 hey you're talking yeah. about me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about you, you know, you, you big cuckoo. Yes. He was cuckoo yes. last yes. year. Yes, exactly, yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, sometimes uh, like you need your big brother. You know, Derrick Rose is a big brother. You know, yes. if you're going crazy, you need your big brother to say, hey, stop it. Yeah. For me, Derrick Rose is, is the leader, is the voice uh, yeah. from this team. Because your experience, nah, your your style, I like you so much. I love Derrick Rose, man. Yeah. And uh, the last question, bro. The last question. The, the most important question. Okay. 
I want to uh, know what's your uh, expectations, okay, with New York Knicks in next season? What do you believe? Uh, playing, playing later playoffs, playoffs or nothing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, next year I want. Uh... You know, winning playoffs and stuff, you know, more than anything, I want respect. That's what I want. You know, mm -hmm. I want respect. You know, like, you know, yes. me and you love the Knicks. You love the Knicks. You're in Brazil, man, and you love the Knicks so much. You know, so just the respect from, from your peers, from me especially, I respect you so much. You know, so same thing like in the NBA. They say like Minnesota and stuff like that. When they see the Knicks, I don't want them to be like, ah, easy. You know, I want them to be like, okay, the Knicks. You know, I want them. I want to circle them. I want to give them respect. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I'm asking for, in in the in the league. Because because if the Knicks can could um, command respect around the league, um, that I think that's the most important thing. And then if that's happening, I think the Knicks can be in the playoffs. I want to be. The, I want to be in the playoffs. I want to be in the playoffs. You know, that that's something. You know, like uh, we the Knicks won one game in the playoffs two years ago in Atlanta. Man, <laughs> I tell you, party. Oh my party. God. New York City was crazy. I was um I was nearby. I went to um uh, Clyde's restaurant. Clyde's restaurant is closed now, but I was at Clyde's mm -hmm. restaurant there. So I was driving. So I jumped in my car and I was just gonna go home because I was thinking I want to be I want to beat the traffic. So I said, you know what? Let me let me turn the corner on uh, on Seventh Avenue and let me go down to to the garden and see what happens. Oh, wow! Well. So I, I turned the corner. So as I turned the corner, I had just put I had my, my I have a Knicks flag on my car. You know, so as I'm coming through, second I come on Second Avenue, everybody sees the flags. So everybody's like, ah! They shaking my car and stuff. So, oh, so, so I roll the windows down and I come all the way in front. I made it all the way past the in the front of the garden, and everybody jumped in front of my car. They pushing the car. They bang, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you know, could could you imagine if the Knicks were really good, you know, and then we can win a win a whole playoff series and we go to the nice. second round? Could you imagine? Wow. Yeah. Man, man. Uh... <laughs> uh i can i can imagine it, 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 uh, now with uh social medias twitter instagram yeah TikTok, facebook and uh another so social medias bro you can imagine nick's fans with yeah. a championship bro internet stop stop <laughs> now <laughs> the, the internet like you your face the yes. gonna like that everybody's channel no. is gonna go like this no yes <laughs> bro <laughs> bro uh nick's uh nick fans so passions bro so passions yeah you, you remember uh our victory with uh boston celtics uh, yes. two victories in yeah. the first first game and uh the the knicks uh rj barrett you know the last shot yeah knicks win bro like a title like yeah. a title <laughs> these games there's nothing like bro. it nothing like it when it bro. when the knicks win there's nothing like it bruno I'm, I'm you know victor i'm trying to tell you man it's amazing i wish i bruno, wish bruno bruno say say hello to you bro i miss you <laughs> i miss you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just mentioned Bruno just now. Yeah, Bruno, Bruno's good too, man. Man, I mean, you guys, like, it, you know, this Knicks culture is, is amazing. You know, yeah. I, like, I wish, I wish that, um, I wish that, um, that that you can you can make it here one day. If you ever make it to 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 a Knicks game, we talked about it. We talk about it all the time. If you make it, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be special. You're gonna have a, such a great time. You know, Knicks Knicks fans oh, will bro. take care of you. Everybody's gonna take care of you. <laughs> And uh, bro, uh, Knicks New York City. And Nick fans are around the world. Uh, super, super deserve a better team, a better yes. team, uh, because uh, so so um, uh, many years, uh, Nick's uh, not a contender, not né, a contender. Right. It's complicated, bro. In Brazil, the last the last uh, people become Nick fans, né, so much more people uh with uh, Carmelo Anthony it's complicated yeah. I miss so much bro I am tired I talk with you in backstage I am tired I am tired <laughs> with <laughs> jokes about this team bro I am tired yeah 
uh, I, I am said, bro, uh, about Donovan Mitchell, for example, not uh, about Donovan Mitchell, about marketing, marketing. In yeah. Brazil, in Brazil, Eru, uh, I saw so many people, so many channels uh, talking about the Knicks. General, general, not so much uh, in this off season uh, because né, uh, rumors, uh, Knicks uh, so so uh, mention uh, uh, in these channels. Yeah. Uh, but I understand. Oh, turn the page. Turn the page. Yeah. Uh, about Donovan Mitchell, but uh, I miss so much uh, Eru. Uh, Nick's great, I, uh, and uh, I don't believe uh, this team uh, come to playoffs. Uh, I believe playing later playoffs, Where? Where? We, we, uh, we fall uh, in first round, but I want this team surprise me, bro. I want <laughs> yeah. do you yeah. remember uh, pandemic season, bro? This yeah. team has a I don't I don't like he say this name. Alfred Peito. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. don't like this name. I yeah, don't yeah. like this name. Yeah, yeah. Bro, Nick's has had Nick's head. This guy PG Nick's yeah. four four seed four seed. Yeah. Uh, now this uh, nobody nobody believes in Nick's in this season. You, re right. you remember? Nobody. Yeah. Nick's four seat. Nick's four seat. So uh in, in the next season, Nick's has a, a, a slow, nah, uh I forgot the word, uh, low, uh, low expectations. Yes. Uh about this team. But uh, this team this team, like uh RJ Barrett is said in interview, Nick's shock in the next season. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, I like it. I, I I I really 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 want this. I really yeah. want uh, Nick surprise me because I miss uh, playoffs, bro. I like mm -hmm. so much playoffs. Ah, you know, you live in United States, bro. You yeah. know better than me. Well, I tell you, like, um, remember I was telling you, like, um, when we're older, so we remember Ewing. We remember, you know, so bro. We we has a uh, the same age, Alio. Yeah. Right. You know. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, in New York, I remember like if the Knicks won, or if the Knicks in the uh, Knicks in the fourth quarter and the Knicks are playing good, uh, you could hear people outside in their windows, ah, like that outside, <laughs> like that. You know. So like after the game, forget about it. After the game, and if the Knicks won, everybody's out their windows, people outside, yeah, outside in the street. You know. Sometimes I live in I live in a bad neighborhood in New York City, so you hear people shooting. <laughs> you know because hit the next win you know so that's uh you know that i missed that you know i missed that because every everybody was was watching the Knicks then you know so it's a, it's such an energy everybody's talking about it you know so i i can't wait i can't i i i it's in my soul i i i yearn for for those feelings man you know that that's why that's why i started my channel because i want to find you victor i want to find you you know i want to find you know ron still Knicks. i want to find nothing you know, nothing but Knicks. i want to find you you know, let's get together because when the Knicks win, you know, we're gonna be outside, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, like that. You know, for for me, it's a family. I yes. I talk with Ron in your life. Uh, yeah. I talk about this. I I like so much Ron. I like you so much. Uh, I talk so much now with uh, Jay Ellis from the Nick of Time show too. Yeah. Uh, so many guys. So many guys. Uh, United States uh i talk so much and for and for me now it's a family it's a family you know everybody knows uh when come to this channel my english yet yet is not perfect right. yet but it's better compare it <laughs> the last well, months you the, know yeah you know. You got, i tell you you got better but I tell, what i always tell you you don't you don't speak um english too good but you speak orange and blue Yes, I remember oh, ever. Yeah, I remember ever about this, bro. Uh, yeah. Orange and blue. Yes. Uh, You're fluent. So, uh, fluent. Yes. 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 <laughs> and uh, 
bro, uh, I just I just uh, want né? This family uh, has a, a a better team, better team. Because great team, it's complicated, but a bad, a better, better team in the next this season, and two, three years contender again. I, yes. I really want, bro. He really yeah. want. I think we'll but, get it. Uh, I think we'll get it because you're, you're a leader, man. You're a leader. I'm, a, you know, I'm leading my pack. You're leading your pack, and I think we're putting positive energy out there. So I think it's good. Positive energy is gonna go up, and it is gonna come down. Shh. And we're yes. gonna we're gonna get a championship, I think, together. Yes, I think. And uh, you know, I like so much you. I like you so much. Uh, you are a friend for for me. You know, yep. I I talk uh mm -hmm. in public uh, from my audience. You are my friend, bro. You are my family too. Yeah, I absolutely. really want. I really want, bro, meet you uh, when this channel make a trip, bro. Really. Yeah, really? I can't wait. Uh, I told you when you come, I'm gonna have a bag for you. I'm gonna give you a bag, and you're gonna look inside. Ah! You know, it's gonna be so many <laughs> different things that I want to. I want to give you. You know, just to, I'm so happy to just to know you, man. You know, from all the way from Brazil to me. I, I'm trying to tell you that you know, it's one thing if you live like I'm in. I live in New York, so you live in New York in Brooklyn. Okay, if you live in Brooklyn, right there. You know, that's okay. I give you a sticker. You know, <laughs> thank you. You know, <laughs> but, but you you come from all the way from Brazil. Hey, you know, I'm gonna give you everything. A bridge. A bridge in, yeah, in between Brazil and New York. Yeah. <laughs> a bridge. Yeah, yeah. A bridge. Bridge Brooklyn. Uh, like my, my logo, né? Uh, the bridge yeah. uh, between yeah. Brazil and the United States. Yeah. Bro, thank you so much, Eru. Thank you so much. Uh, again. Again. Three or four interview. Three or four. I think well, you. I went on your channel a, a while, a few months I, ago, I, and you came on my so channel. So many interviews. Yeah, you came on my channel <laughs> yes. once also. You know, you got to come back again. We got to do it again. I, 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 uh, we we forgot so many interviews. We forgot. Yeah, we, we were, you uh, you my you are my family, bro. You are my family. Yeah, I yeah. I don't know so many interviews we we done because of a lot. A lot of interviews and yeah. i won't make so many so many interviews lives i talk with you in backstage i won't make lives too because i will put subtitle in this interview so many words bro so many words ah ah for brazil and united states the same in the same language orange and blue okay but portuguese and english it's complicated bro it's yeah. complicated but I, I want I want make lives too, bro. I want to because <laughs> complicated. Yeah, but uh, really, bro, thank you so much, so much for me. You know, you know, yeah. uh, it's a great honor ever uh, when I I talk with you, bro. Yeah, you too, okay? man. I'm, I'm so happy I found you, man. I, I'm, you know, like I said, it's just, it's it's amazing this experience making podcasts and stuff like this is amazing experience, man. You know. Definitely. Okay, bro. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. And I hope, I hope talk with you soon in your channel, in this channel, in so many places. Okay, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, my bro. Yep. See you later, guys. Queria comentar com vocês, né? Nós temos agora uma novidade aqui com relação ao Nick Fans Brasil, que o canal agora pode ter o programa de membros, né? No YouTube. Então eu gostaria de pedir para você, você que puder, se inscreva também, né? Seja membro, seja membro do Nick Fans Brasil. Apenas R$ 7,99 por mês. Apenas R$ 7,99. E você vai ter vantagens exclusivas, vantagens exclusivas por ser membro do canal Nick Fans Brasil. Uma delas, você vai ter grupo especial no WhatsApp, que você vai ter as notícias sempre antes, né? Vídeos e etc. sempre ditos antes para os membros. Uh, benefícios que vão ser estudados ao longo do tempo, que vão ser exclusivos para vocês. Além de sorteios, galera. Quem for membro vai ter essa vantagem, galera. Então, bora lá, participa e apoia o canal Nick Fans Brasil, pessoal. Beleza? E aí, pessoal, este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Nick Fans Brasil, não se esqueça 
de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não? Para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! Are you down with the orange and the blue? I'm a Nick fan.